In this lecture, we will cover the objectives of different test levels. The learning objective here is to compare the different test levels from the perspective of objectives, test basis, test objects, typical defects and failures, approaches and responsibilities. Before going through the objective of each test level, let's quickly go through the objective of testing, because test level objectives are derived from these main objectives. The seven test objectives are to prevent defects by evaluating work products such as requirements, user stories, design, and code, to verify whether all specified requirements have been fulfilled, to check whether the test object is complete and validate if it works as the users and other stakeholders expect, to build confidence in the level of quality of the test object, to find defects and failures, thus reducing the level of risk of inadequate software quality, to provide sufficient information to stakeholders to allow them to make informed decisions, especially regarding the level of quality of the test object. To comply with contractual, legal, or regulatory requirements or standards, and to verify the test object's compliance with such requirements or standards. Now, we will address the objective of different test levels, and you will find that most of the test level objectives are similar to these objectives. First, we will see the objective of component testing. The first objective is to reduce risk. The second objective is verifying the functional and non-functional behaviors of the component. The term component is important here. The third objective is building confidence in the component's quality. Since the component testing is done during the development process, if we detect this at this stage and fix it, it helps in establishing the confidence in the tested component. The fourth objective is to find a defect in a component. Again, the word component is important here. And the fifth objective is preventing defects from escaping to higher test levels. You can see that all the points are derived from the main testing objective, and the only word components are used as we are performing testing at the component level. The second level is integration test level. It could be component integration or system integration test. The first objective is to reduce defect. The second objective is verifying the functional and non-functional behaviors of the interface. The word interface here is important. The third objective is building confidence in the quality of the interfaces. The fourth objective is finding defects, which may be in the interfaces themselves or within the components or systems. And the last objective is preventing defects from escaping to higher test levels all the points here are similar to what we covered for component level. The third level is system level. The objective of system testing is to reduce risk, verifying whether the functional and non-functional behaviors of the system. Here, the term system is important. Building confidence in the quality of the system as a whole. Finding defects in the system. Preventing defects from escaping to higher test levels or production. The last point is new, validating that the system is complete and will work as expected. Since we have the complete software here, which is planned for the release, we can perform validation on it. The fourth level is acceptance level. The objective here may look the same, but the focus is not on finding a defect. Here we test so to see everything is working fine. And the objectives are establishing confidence in the quality of the system as a whole. For this test level, we are using the word establishing confidence. Whereas for the previous three levels, we used the word building confidence. Though you may think both are the same, however, it is not. 
acceptance testing is done on the complete software and we perform acceptance to accept the product. While this testing, we should not find the defect. If you think from the functionality wise, then you will understand this thin difference. The second objective is validating that the system is complete and will work as expected. Over here, we are validating to check if all the requirements are met or not. But in the system test, we test with the objective of finding the defect. You may find it a bit confusing. But as the course will progress, you will understand the point. For the time being, just remember the point. And the last point is verifying that functional and non-functional behaviors of the system are as specified. If you notice a few objectives which we saw previously are not the objective of acceptance, for example, reducing the risk of finding a defect is not the objective of acceptance testing. This point is very important, so please remember it. With this, all the test levels are covered. Now let's quickly compare the objective of component testing, integration testing, system testing, as they are similar. The first objective, reducing risk, is common for all the test levels. The second objective, verifying whether the functional and non-functional behaviors is also common for all the test levels. For component testing, we need to verify component. But for integration testing, we test interface. And for system test, we evaluate the system. The third objective, building confidence, is also the same for all the test levels, only the word component, interface, and system are different. The fourth objective, finding defect, is also the same, and the same logic applies here. The fifth objective, preventing defects from escaping to higher test levels, is the same for all the test levels, only for system testing, we have one additional work production. Since after system testing, the test object may go for production. This word is used at the system level. One more objective of system testing is validating that the system is complete and will work as expected. If you apply this logic, it's easy to remember all the objectives. Since the focus of acceptance testing is not to find the defect or reduce risk, instead to check acceptance criteria. Therefore, the objectives are different, which includes establishing confidence in the quality of the system as a whole, validating that the system is complete and will work as expected, and verifying that functional and non-functional behaviors of the system are as specified.